to join us tonight. It's a special treat for me to introduce and be here with John Needham today. John's continued, uh, <coughs> excuse me, John's continued success in the industry over many, many years is a result of hard work, enlightenment, and a little bit of obsession, an obsession that, uh, that works. John has a unique insight which has allowed him to call major highs and lows in the market before they occur. He's, he's identified the time and price of market turning points and published the information on financialsense.com before the turning points occurred. Financialsense.com is not John's site, so the dates on the site for the articles are real. You can actually go check them out for yourself. Kind of cool. Um, John is trusted by not only traders like you and I, but fund managers, commercial firms, financial institutions. Um, I've talked to guys with big money at different seminars where they're definitely going to trust their money with John. They have for a long time. But with your permission, I'd like to actually just share some of my personal experience concerning John and just kind of talk from the heart. Forget about uh, you know, forget about all the information that's technical. Um, John, John was a client way back in the day. He was a client when it was called. Genesis Financial Data Services, and he was with us before I worked at Genesis in 1997. He didn't really need much help, so for the first few years, I never talked to him. I kept hearing his name, I kept hearing John Needham and Daniel Code, and his research was creating some excitement, so um, people were talking. I figured, hey, I'm going to go read some of these articles and see what's going on. Well, I was pretty impressed with the insight and intellect and what was laid out before me. John is actually a great writer, and I'm not, and he's just absolutely a great writer, one of the greatest writers in the industry. Um, you should go read his work. Just go to financialsense.com or Daniel Code, uh, the DanielCode.com and check out his work. He is one of the smartest people I know. You're going to really see some things. What John sees, others don't. He attacks things from every angle. He's got some sort of unique insight. Um, I wanted to talk to John at the time, so as Humphrey Bogart said, uh, it was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. John and I have had beer together in several countries, all our conversations, and John has always been sharp, intelligent. I've always enjoyed time with him. He does not play around with the bull, the BS, I should say. He doesn't play around with the BS. And so he's my kind of guy, the guy I like to hang out with and have a beer and have a discussion with about the markets or anything. And that's why I'm staying up. It's actually 1 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to stay up until 1 o'clock in the morning. It's actually a little after midnight here in Germany. I'm in Germany, and I wanted to stay up and introduce John to you guys uh, because Mr. Needham here, uh, many people are coming and going in this industry. But not this guy. He's been here doing research and sharing that research with others for a long time. And he continues to be successful for good reason. And I've been lucky to know John personally. And I've learned from John personally. And it isn't just trading. I mean, this guy is really, really pretty good about a lot of different things. He's got a lot of knowledge to share, a lot of wisdom. And that's why it's a real pleasure tonight for me to be here introducing John Needham. John is not only a partner of Trade Navigator, but John is John's a friend of mine. So John, I want to thank you for doing this webinar for our Trade Navigator community today. Pete, thank you. That's uh, awfully kind of you. I can't uh, uh, remember ever having so many kind words uh, said about me. And uh, like uh, all people, I suppose I have a touch of vanity, and I'm grateful for your kind words, mate. Uh, anyway, thank you, <coughs> Pete, for this. Uh, Pete, as you as he's told you, is actually in Germany at the moment. I'm in Australia, uh, so this is a pretty international event. Uh, but uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this uh, Trade Navigator Daniel Code webinar. I'm delighted and privileged to have the opportunity to talk to you. Um, and I hope today that I'm going to shock you. Uh, and uh, you've already now seen uh, um, uh, quite a number of these uh, presentations by the Masters. A uh, lot of good knowledge, a lot of really interesting stuff. Uh, I've attended a few of them, and uh, I think they're just a wonderful, wonderful asset that Trade Navigators put together for your benefit as traders. Um, and uh, I'm now going to show you some of what we do at the Daniel Code. 
this is going to be very, very different to anything you've ever seen before, and there's a reason for it. Uh, in the same way as the uh, turtles or tortoises on Galapagos Island have uh, evolved in an entirely different way to uh, many other species because they've been isolated, uh, my trading career and my take on trading and my interest in trading um, have suffered or rather been blessed by much the same phenomenon. I'm about uh, more than 9,000 miles away from the uh, heart of uh, futures trading in Chicago um, and I've had uh, almost no exposure to uh, uh, American traders and uh, uh, teachers um, uh, and what I have had has been uh, uh, fun but less than satisfactory. I'll just leave it that way. Um, and so uh, after the normal search for uh, what worked, I'm a lawyer. Uh, I haven't uh, practiced for many years, but uh, once an attorney, always an attorney. Uh, I approached this thing on the belief that you could learn everything you needed to learn from books. Um, and strangely, in this industry, it's one that doesn't comply to that rule. Uh, you can't learn everything you need to know from books. Uh, people write books with uh, their particular point of interest, particular point of knowledge, um, and uh, I would have, I would guess, about the biggest collection of books in the world, uh, but um, it wasn't satisfactory, and uh, I was constantly frustrated, um, and so I went on a search for what actually makes markets move, uh, with a focus mainly on what makes markets turn, uh, because market turns are where you want to be getting into your trades. Um, so this went on in uh, grand isolation for many, many years. I've been uh, trading uh, futures now for uh, 24, 25 years or so. Um, and I developed the Daniel Code, which is completely unique, completely different to anything else you've ever seen. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, I've got a uh, PowerPoint. I want to take you through uh, some of the main points, show you the stuff we do. Um, and we do a huge range of um, uh, work in uh, trading futures. We also trade Forex, uh, spot Forex, but <coughs> primarily our interest is in futures, uh, which will be the main uh, point of our discussion today. Um, and uh, what, um, uh, what I found is that uh, this gentleman you're looking at the screen on at the moment uh, that's a painting of uh, Daniel, the same Daniel who wrote the book of Daniel in the Bible. Um, and uh, this is a painting by Michelangelo uh, in the Sistine Chapel. Um, and Daniel was a very remarkable man. He uh, uh, was captured at the sack of Jerusalem by the Chaldeans, the Medes, the Persians, uh, who were the dominant uh, force in the world back in about 640 uh, uh, B.C., um, he was taken to uh, what's now uh, Baghdad as a slave, as an alien, um, <clears throat> and he rose to become the most powerful man in the world, second only to the king of the Medes, uh, and he effectively became the uh, king's right-hand man and the ruler of the largest uh, empire the world has ever seen, bigger than the Roman Empire and uh, all the uh, empires that uh, we've seen in the world since. So uh, you can take it he was a man of rare talent. And one of the things he did, uh, is he wrote um, a code uh, which is actually published in the Bible. It's in J uh, Daniel, uh, uh, book of Daniel, uh, chapter 12. Uh, and he said he wrote a code, and I called it a code because it's hidden. Remember, this guy was a, effectively a prisoner and a slave of the Persians at the time, and he had to be very careful what he said, uh, not so as not to upset the, uh, the ruling classes, which he, he was not at that time in that status, but he certainly became the leader of them. And he set out a code whereby um, he predicted mathematically uh, the almost exact length of a calendar year. Remember that most uh, nations in those days used uh, lunar calendars, um, and uh, the Jews used lunar calendars. Daniel, of course, was a, was a Jew. Um, and using a lunar calendar, your time is always out. Uh, and he was the first person. He wrote this secret code um, hidden in plain sight in the Bible that uh, set out the length of a solar year uh, accurate to a little bit less than two hours a year. Uh, and he did that in an era um, 650 BC, uh, primitive telescopes, uh, water clocks. Uh, their method of time was candles that burnt at a known rate and, uh, and water clocks. Uh, and he managed to do that more accurately uh, than perhaps your grandfathers could have done it. 
um, uh, even uh, this century. It's quite extraordinary. Um, and from the mathematics uh, inherent in that uh, came Daniel's Code, which is why we call uh, this project um, the Daniel Code. Uh, so let's move along and see if we can uh, show you uh, some interesting things that will <coughs> excite you. Um, <coughs> markets, <coughs> so we say that they are rational, orderly and sometimes predictable. And basically Daniel's Code is a set of proprietary ratios that control time and price uh, in all markets. And that's quite a big statement, but it happens to be a fact. So today we're going to have to move along because we only have about an hour. Uh, we've got an awful lot of material to show you. Um, the, the first point I want to make is that all markets turn at the Daniel Code numbers now. Uh, don't run away screaming at the word numbers. Numbers seem to uh, uh, upset people. Maybe they had a bad time with their math at school. Uh, but numbers are in fact the universal language. Uh, if you're talking to someone who doesn't speak your language, there's um, more than usual capacity for misunderstanding, is there not? Um, but if you're talking in numbers and uh, you meet a Bedouin in the middle of the desert and you contract to sell him uh, five camels and you only produce four, uh, you can be absolutely sure that he'll understand that uh, that's one short of what the deal was. So markets uh, use numbers all the time and that's our universal language we need to uh, know them but you don't need to understand them uh, because whilst I'm going to show you what we do today we do almost all the work for you at the Daniel Code website so uh, don't be frightened of numbers. Um, I'm particularly interested in uh, market turns and over the years we've developed various protocols that have been um, more or less successful but each one's built on the last one um, and our uh, uh, most recent project which has been running for about two years now is called the fourth seal you can call it the fourth degree if you like and it's an angle on a chart uh, which forecasts uh, future price points uh, and when we uh, combine that with time the Daniel Code time cycles uh, we finish up with what we call uh, squaring the circle time and price squared uh, when we have a known Daniel Code time cycle and a known Daniel Code price cycle expiring uh, in conjunction with each other, a turn in the market is almost inevitable. I'm going to show you some examples of that. I'm going to show you about executing specific daily trade signals and whilst uh, a lot of this stuff has a theoretical bent, the reality is uh, that if you're a trader you're in the business of making money um, and I'm going to show you our TO3 and PLUS program which has been running for uh, many years now. We've had uh, uh, a number of uh, open trials of it. We've run it as a uh, live um, uh, day trading system for uh, uh, over a year. All of that has been recorded, available to you. Um, and it runs at about 7.5% a month. Um, so that's about 80% plus a year and it's been doing that for years and years and years. And it's optimized for safety, not for profitability. Um, so if you're interested in getting into uh, futures trading uh, or indeed Forex trading, that's the place uh, for you to start. Um, as we move through this, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, concept of fractals. Uh, fractals are, uh, if you like, fractions. They're parts uh, of uh, market moves. They're, they're, self, they're not exactly the same, but they're self-similar um, parts of markets that you can uh, dissect markets and break them into smaller pieces called fractals. Um, and once you do that, you're going to see some quite um, amazing things about markets. Um, and then when we've done all of that, uh, you'll have a pretty good idea of how you can put it all together. Um, so here's the, uh, let me get this out of the way. Uh, Peter, I should have at the beginning said, yes, this webinar is being recorded. Um, it will be available at uh, the Trade Navigator website and also at the Daniel Code website probably in about 24 hours. Um, so um, a couple of people, uh, Peter, having some problem with the uh, audio. Um, May well be. I'm in Australia. Pete's in uh, uh, Germany. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, links to go through to get this audio to you, but uh, if you're having trouble with it now, just be relaxed because you'll find when you look at the recording, it'll all be cleaned up very well. Um, this uh, chart you're looking at now, this is uh, the Daniel Code uh, timing chart. Uh, and for this chart, we use um, six-day bars. Um, and there's uh, reasons for that. Uh, I'm going to show you when we get to the Daniel Code website 
the link to some uh, very important articles that I've uh, published on market timing. Uh, one is called Masterclass 1, it's about time. The other is called Masterclass 2, Timing Gold. Um, it has some very specific time cycles and those articles uh, which were published uh, by Financial Sense some years ago um, will show you exactly how to create uh, this stuff that you're looking at now and you will be able to uh, start to make progress on uh, using these timing cycles uh, to enhance your own trading. But um, what we're looking at here is the uh, S&P on a six day chart. Uh, each bar represents six trading days um, and it's running from our first 59 turn uh, which is the dominant Daniel Code time cycle. They're the ones you see in black on this chart and it starts with the first time cycle in October. 2007 that enabled us to call that top um, and it ran down and time cycles repeat um, and the next iteration of the 59 time cycle, iteration incidentally just means occurrence, the next time it happened um, was absolutely at the low uh, in March 2009 which enabled us to call uh, that low uh, days in advance, uh, weeks in advance, in fact I was running a tutorial uh, in Taupo, New Zealand the very day uh, that market bottomed and turned um, and we were buying it with both hands um, and that's the beauty of these uh, time cycles identifying market turns. Um, so you can see there, those are the time cycles running along. Uh, I'm just going to grab a highlight tool here um, so I can show you these. Uh, there's your fifth, first 59 cycle, this is it, it's repeating um, and uh, where this stuff comes from uh, in the book of Daniel says it shall be for time, times and and half. Uh, so what you're seeing here uh, is time being repeated uh, in 59, clumps of 59 and the half cycles in between. So uh, there was a 2007 low, we knew about it and recorded it and called it. Uh, here's the 2009 low, that was the high, the seven high, I'm sorry. Uh, we forecast that well in advance. Um, and these time cycles go on running to infinity. Uh, sometimes they're operative, sometimes they uh, go into hibernation, but uh, just follow these through. Here's the twice, uh, the 59, uh, got a nice little counter trend high. Uh, here was the two and a half times, uh, got a high that led to a multi, multi uh, month uh, counter trend, the most important counter trend in this whole run, in fact, uh, since the 2009 low. Uh, we moved on to this uh, high here, uh, got a counter trend from it. Uh, we move along here, here was the next one, it switched and gave us a low. Uh, and right here at the highs we're at now, uh, it was the next iteration of this uh, and we also had a new 59 cycle uh, running from this low here. Uh, nothing happened on the first 59 cycle, here's our times and a half. So we had uh, known Daniel Code time cycles expiring at the recent high, uh, and running along the top here, these red cycles, this is gold, gold's number is 44 um, and we also had a gold time cycle expiring there um, and down the bottom here, uh, this purple looking time count here, uh, this is the 70 or the heathen cycle uh, in the Daniel Code time cycle. So uh, if it's getting already too much for you to hold in your head, don't worry about it. Uh, you can review this stuff uh, at uh, the uh, recording. Um, and um, uh, we do uh, regular webinars pretty well every, I try to do them every week more often than not, they come out every two weeks and we talk about this stuff uh, all the time. But you can see there, uh, there's nothing very random about markets. Uh, the uh, <coughs> concept of random warp won actually won a Nobel Prize for markets, um, which in my view is just complete nonsense. There is nothing uh, random about markets if you understand them. Uh, and uh, talking about um, uh, random markets is just another code for I don't really understand what I'm talking about, but leave that aside. Uh, let's move on now, we're still on the S&P and I'm still talking about timing um, and this is our 12 day chart, that's our next step up the timing scale. Uh, we start with the 6 day chart, we go to the 12 and then the 24 uh, and when you read the articles on timing you'll understand why we use these very specific numbers um, and you can see once again uh, we had um, the, the black lines, they're the Daniel Code time cycles, 148 uh, right at these recent highs and we had the gold time cycles expiring at the recent highs um, and the red lines you see on these charts, they're what we call the fourth seal, 
or the fourth degree if you prefer, and they are an angle uh, that have uh, very specific rules attached to how they're created, uh, and uh, we're going to show you more of those, and if you become really interested in market forecasting, uh, you can come along to one of our three-day very intensive tutorials um, at some stage, um, and we'll show you how to actually create all this stuff for yourself. Um, so you can see at our recent highs we had the conjunction of uh, four sealed time cycles um, and that means nothing unless you get the uh, time cycles uh, expiring at the same time uh, which we had here. We had the 88 uh, red cycle from the gold count uh, and the black cycle uh, at 148 which is one and a half times, actually two and a half times uh, the 59 time cycle. Um, and what we say is when uh, you have a known Daniel Code price cycle and a known Daniel Code time cycle. We say time and price is squared. Uh, and when time and price is squared, a turn is almost inevitable. Um, and I wrote about this in an uh, article published at the end of June. Uh, you can see it at the website. It's called uh, S&P in a Cocked Hat. Uh, and it forecasts that uh, this uh, was going to eventuate with the tight uh, interrelationship of the four steel markets and the expiration of Daniel Code cycles uh, and we were going to get at least a correction. Now, <clears throat> I caution you, this stuff doesn't talk about quantum. Uh, it shows us the turns uh, and we get that weeks and sometimes months in advance uh, and you can be prepared for that. Uh, the other thing that the fourth seal does, and I'm going to show you a number of the uh, fourth seal coverage of the website uh, for the markets we do cover, um, is it gives you a different definition of trend. Um, and if you know that a turn is due, you also know the trend going into that turn. Uh, and if you bias your trade slightly to match the fourth seal trend, uh, you will find that you more than double um, your existing equity returns. Uh, let's move on. That's our 12-day chart. Uh, it'll take a moment or two for these charts to change. I'm a long way away from you, uh, but very shortly you should be seeing the next chart. Um, which is uh, taking you down now to daily bars. Um, the main point about the Daniel Code that is completely different to every other uh, trading model that you've seen is it creates these series of numbers uh, which on this chart are blue lines. Um, they're the, uh, we just call them, they're nothing fancy, we just call them the blue lines. Um, and they're the Daniel Code targets outside the operating range. Uh, and then inside the operating range we have a proprietary set of ratios um, that uh, control what markets do when they're inside the operating range. Uh, and Trade Navigator um, have put together some very nice tools uh, that allow you to do all this stuff. It's called the Daniel Code Library. Um, and it's free to all members um, once you uh, join the Daniel Code. So uh, all I want to show you here is here's this market tracking down. Here's the first blue line. Um, and uh, you will find here uh, that the blue line signals happen with a, um, a read from stochastics and a momentum indicator. Now, a lot of people don't like stochastics. I've commonly heard it said by very respected teachers that these aren't very good tools. Um, and if you don't have the Daniel Code numbers, they're not very good tools because the stochastics themselves are only part of the solution. Uh, but if you have the Daniel Code numbers, uh, then you will find that using stochastics in conjunction with those Daniel Code numbers to forecast market turns uh, is very, very effective, uh, and we do it all the time. That's our business, uh, and here's one for you. This happens to be oil. Um, this is a uh, chart taken uh, from uh, July, um, and there was just a standard blue line turn for you uh, that knocked off uh, $2,000 worth of profit uh, very quickly. This is the uh, Russell. Uh, I'm showing you the same thing right up here. Uh, we had a Daniel Code blue line signal. Uh, 121070 was the number we were looking for. That number was up there for weeks and weeks before the market got there. Uh, at the time it got there, the fast stochastic was overbought. The slow stochastic was overbought. And we also had our proprietary momentum indicator, uh, which you'll see in the Daniel Code library showing divergence. Uh, so we issued a blue line sell signal. Uh, it took a couple of days to bite, um, and down it came, and here's this nice run down. Um, these uh, dollars are in brackets, so that's just the way the Trade Navigator dollar difference tool works. If I'd put a minus in front of the number of contracts, it would have been positive, uh, but that's just um, uh, 
a feature of the tool uh, and I did this uh, probably in a bit of a hurry uh, there you can see there's a very simple uh, $7,000 trade straight off using these Daniel code turn signals um, nothing special about it uh, this happens all the time every day it's what we do uh, here's the same uh, sort of thing showing you on a daily gold chart um, and this is in fact a turn uh, that came within the operating range so this turn came uh, at one of our red lines we have a series of red lines and one black line uh, which is incredibly powerful um, and these are the, 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 the numbers at which markets will turn within the operating range same thing here as a plus buy signal we publish these signals for you every day uh, we put them into a um, we put them into a trade program that shows you the exact number to enter at um, the first target if any the place to put your stop uh, and it's an interactive feature that allows you to calculate uh, your risk and the number of contracts you want to take so uh, there's just the same thing another three thousand uh, dollars nice trading now uh, this chart's a little more interesting folks you have to excuse me moving through here Hank uh, if you've lost sound uh, it's nothing to do with us uh, here um, and uh, it, you'll be able to pick it up in the uh, recording uh, I'm going to deal with all of your questions folks at the end uh, so please keep the questions coming um, I know I can see them coming in and we're certainly going to deal with those most important part of the presentation um, here is a chart that shows how you put uh, time and price together um, so here we have this is the um, e-mini it's recent pull down uh, we pretty much expected that top we forecast it I wrote about it it was on the website um, and we said a, some sort of a correction was coming in this chart we now slip away from the six day stuff and we get down to the daily stuff um, and you can see here this is a very neat little tool um, called the Daniel Code Time Cycles that uh, uh, one of uh, Pete's folks, Pete you remember doing this, uh, created for us, <coughs> make it really simple uh, and we give you the dominant Daniel Code Time Cycles uh, this trade navigator tool is in the Daniel Code library which all uh, members of the Daniel Code get for free of course uh, and all you do is you go and you find our little uh, logo as a tool in the trade navigator package um, and you click on any uh, number you like any significant high or low um, I chose this one here there's a nice little three high structure here that's always of interest uh, and if you just simply clicked with the tool onto that bar um, it gave you uh, the next four dominant Daniel code time cycles on the daily chart uh, one's 44 which is the uh, dominant number for gold uh, but it often appears in these other markets uh, that gave us a little interim high in July uh, move on um, and all of these uh, lines incidentally folks appear the minute you uh, click this link way back in May um, the next one was the 59 that was the one we were looking for which gave us the exact high um, in the S&P um, and then uh, next one was the 62 the blue line uh, these numbers all have uh, these time ratios all have different colors um, and the reason for that is that um, I invented them so I figure I can uh, make the colors what I want and I'm colorblind uh, so the only colors I really see well are red black and uh, blue uh, which you'll find there's uh, nothing much in the Daniel code that's not uh, red black and blue otherwise I can't see it so that's a very important technical consideration uh, the blue line 62 that's our support cycle that nearly always gives you lows um, and for this day here this market was not at a low uh, so that we didn't expect any bite out of that uh, but we were watching with great interest 70 uh, coming up that's we call that the heathen cycle um, it's also from the book of Daniel but it's from um, a different uh, part of uh, chapter 12 to our normal ratios uh, so here we had um, a blue line at the top now I create these blue lines um, <coughs> they're uh, published on our uh, charts on our website select chart uh, twice a week on the weekends and updated on Wednesday night uh, but for the charts that we don't publish we're doing them anyway and we uh, know when they're there and we post these signals for you so, so we try to make it as easy and simple as possible but just where you can see the highlight bar now we had time at the Daniel code 1985 was the number we were looking for we were only a few ticks away from that we had our 59 time cycle uh, and that generated a blue line sell signal uh, which we duly posted the market ran down 
uh, down to this number here, a little bit of enthusiasm went through it, uh, suddenly got a shock and said, oh gee, I've gone too far, these numbers are pretty much secret, no one apart from Daniel Code members have ever heard of them, it's quite extraordinary that they work with this level of precision. Uh, the market probably turned around, uh, it was at a Daniel Code time cycle as well, um, and that's why we got the reversal um, in the S&P now. Uh, when I take you to the website, you're going to see a heading there called Chart Archives. There are almost 30,000 of my charts in there, um, and uh, I invite you to open it, take, uh, take a bit of time. It's a huge, huge file, as you can imagine, um, and you'll see 30,000 uh, of these charts in there that I've created over the last uh, four or five, six years, um, and you will find that all markets turn at the Daniel Code numbers now. Uh, that's just a statistical fact. Uh, it's something you need to grip uh, if you want to progress with this business. Um, here's um, uh, another one of our tools that uh, uh, we use a great deal. This is actually um, an amended use of the Trade Navigator regression tool. Um, and if you're going to draw regression channels on charts, uh, you should know that they don't work because regression channels uh, are open-ended and they will adjust uh, up and down to fit any market structure at all. We uh, use them slightly differently. Uh, we have some very fixed rules on uh, using this tool and uh, we use it to create not a Gresham channel uh, but a Daniel Code trading channel. Uh, and when we talk about markets being orderly and organized, um, here's the S&P since its 2009 low um, and you can see that it has slavishly followed uh, its Daniel Code trading channel uh, for the whole of that time, um, getting on for five years now. 13, 14, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, it is, past five, past five years. And in that whole time, uh, this centre line, the darker, stronger line, this is the median, and what this market's done, it's gone one standard deviation above the mean, back to the mean. One standard deviation above the mean, down to one standard deviation below the mean. Back up to one standard deviation above the mean down to two standard deviations below the mean, the only time it's used that number, and the whole of the rest of the time it spends its life uh, wandering from the mean to one standard deviation either above or below. Um, nothing could be simpler, um, so the next time you feel confused about markets and what they're doing, uh, bring up a six-day chart um, and uh, use the Daniel Code um, trade tool to create um, a um, a Daniel Code trading channel. Not all markets will fit into a Daniel Code trading channel, but almost all of them will, um, and it's a vital tool. Um, here we're taking, I'm showing you now, jumping around, uh, this is a, a piece of the Daniel Code website, um, and this is called our trade program. Uh, and what we do every day is we put in uh, to this program uh, these signals here. They're always posted by uh, 9.30 uh, my time, uh, which is, um, that's in the morning, uh, which is 6.30 um, uh, trade navigator time, mountain time. We get the uh, data comes out uh, at 4.30. We get our end of day data uh, at 4.30 mountain time or uh, a, a little while after that. Um, and the signals are all posted by 6.30, uh, two hours after we get the end of day download. And you can see um, it tells you what the market is we're interested in. Here's one for the Russell. Here's one for the S&P. Um, it tells you what the code is. It tells you whether we have a buy or sell signal for today. Uh, it tells you where the entry is. Uh, here's um, uh, one for T-bonds. Um, it tells you where the entry is. It tells you where to put your stop loss, your initial stop loss, uh, your first target. It tells you the type of signal it is, uh, so you'll know uh, what protocols to use in trading it. Um, and it also tells you whether these trades are correlated or not. Very important to understand that a lot of these markets are highly correlated. Um, so if you're trading, for example, the Russell, uh, you're also trading the S&P, the NASDAQ, um, and um, uh, Dow. Uh, and uh, usually you say you can also say you're trading the DAX as well because they're so highly correlated uh, that whatever direction one goes, the other will go. Um, and this is an interactive program. You can type in here uh, the number of contracts you want to take. Uh, you just type in the value of your account. Uh, and the risk you want to take, we suggest uh, 2% uh, on a fully correlated basis. 
um, and the uh, program will suggest to you how many contracts you should be taking. Uh, but that, of course, is assumed you're going to take all of them. Uh, and if you're not, uh, and I, I doubt whether many of you will trade all of these, um, it will uh, adjust uh, to show you uh, over here what your total value of risk is. Um, and so that's something that's very cool. It might be a little hard to understand, but uh, with everything we do, folks, we don't try to sell you anything. Um, I'm a lawyer. I'm actually a retired lawyer, but um, I don't have any salesman in me, um, and I don't like uh, being sold to. It usually doesn't work, uh, for me at least. So uh, we simply say you're most welcome to have a free trial of anything that you see at the Daniel Code, and if you like it um, and find that it's going to work for you, um, then that's great, and uh, uh, we encourage you to do that, make up your own mind. Um, we've now got to uh, probably the most exciting part of this uh, business, that as we've uh, had these tools of uh, market turns, we've learned more and more and had more and more insights into markets, um, and this is something called uh, FractZen. Um, and what we've done here, it goes back many years, Pete, you remember this is the old Project X, I talked to you about this uh, when you came down to New Zealand for the Taupo uh, tutorial. We have these uh, very intensive three-day tutorials periodically, and Pete was kind enough to come down to one. I think it was probably 2010. <coughs> Pete, we have a bit of fun at these tutorials as well. We actually took Pete, you won't know this, uh, to the local racetrack. Uh, which is run by a professional racing association um, and they strapped him into some overalls and helmets and fireproof boots and uh, put him in a big V8 supercar and gave him a couple of laps uh, to teach him how to do it and then uh, turned him loose um, and uh, Pete actually broke uh, all records for an amateur driver uh, and is still the record holder uh, at the uh, Taupo racetrack. Taupo's uh, in the middle of the North Island of New Zealand folks if you're wondering where we were so uh, uh, he's a bit of a lead foot, our friend. Okay, so yeah, everybody gets everybody gets lucky sometimes. I don't think you got lucky there. You had a lot of competition. Uh, there've been a lot of people. Uh, you know, it's a big deal. A lot of people go there every day of the week and uh, try to get those laps. And I see you're still number one. So, pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it was. It was. It was a good time. It was a good time. But yeah, I, I remember those things. Okay. So <clears throat> we talked to Pete about this all the way back then. Um, and it was called Project X in those days. It, it's moved on. It's now called uh, Frank Zen Pro. Um, and what we're doing here with this exercise is we're taking markets uh, and we're dividing um, daily bars uh, up into segments. We call them fractals. Uh, you could call them fractions. If you wanted to, it would mean the same thing. Uh, and we're examining uh, a simple momentum signal, uh, pretty standard stuff, uh, and we're saying that if we keep the same type of signal, we don't play with that, uh, but if we pay with, play with the size of the fractals uh, which, we, uh, which we create by taking a period of the chart and dividing it up, you can divide it into you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, anything you like, um, we'll come up with um, different uh, results from the same solution. Um, and this is, this is some of the most interesting stuff I've ever seen. Uh, this printout here, this is a computer generated printout uh, that we haven't been able to do before. We haven't had the tools to do it. And to date, um, our Fraxen program, which is a short term trading program, all of the markets have had to run at the same speed because that's been the limit of the uh, technology. It's called um, uh, TSOG, uh, Trade Sense Order Group Technology at Trade Navigator. Uh, and it's done very, very well, let me tell you, but uh, the limit to it is that all markets run at the same speed. Now, Trade Navigator have now come up with a new uh, product called Strategy, uh, which is invented and uh, designed by um, uh, Tim Birch, the head of development at Trade Navigator, a lovely guy, the director of the company. Uh, he came down to uh, New Zealand in December to our Waiheke Island uh, tutorial and uh, had a look at what we do at the Daniel Code. and. Uh, got quite interested and uh, uh, Pete and uh, Tim have uh, said, came to me and said, look, uh, you know, we see that you're doing with this uh, Fraxin program, let us put it into strategy which will give you far more options uh, in how you can test it and manipulate the data which uh, they're in the process of doing and we're actually going to tell you much, much more about that on the 4th of September. Uh, I'll be doing another webinar with Trade Navigator. Uh, where we're going to show you uh, Franklin Pro uh, 
uh, and how it works. So uh, put that in your diary, folks. It's uh, something completely new. <clears throat> it's never been done before. Um, like most things in the Daniel Code, it doesn't uh, build on someone else's work. It's just a completely different uh, way of looking at markets. So if you have a look at these figures here, they're quite extraordinary. This is a uh, computer-generated results run, uh, run on uh, Trade Navigator software. Um, and what we've done here is we've uh, taken this market here. This is natural gas, um, and uh, it's run from uh, the 1st of January 2014 uh, to the end of uh, our data, which would have been uh, yesterday. Uh, so we've got a bit over seven months. Um, and we've run 11 different speeds uh, by changing the size of the fractals uh, or the number of the fractals in each uh, group of uh, data you're looking at you change the speed at which markets are running. Um, and what we're trying to do here is determine uh, what the actual speed is that various markets run at. Um, and it's astonishing the difference between these markets. And it's equally astonishing uh, what happens when you can find their optimum speed. So um, we start here. This is uh, sort of upside down. Uh, we can start at test number one. This was a, a test where we had a uh, small number of fractals are uh, trading quite slowly uh, and we ran this in progressive leaps all the way up to test number 11 where we had um, um, a lot a lot of trades you can see at the bottom here this uh, first uh, subset uh, had 50 trades in seven months uh, by the time we get up here as the fractals are running faster uh, we've got about a hundred trades about double um, and you can see the change in the results were astonishing now this group around here, around the 67567 number, that's normally where these short-term trading systems live. Um, and I don't know quite why it is. I get it because uh, we haven't had the tools to really dig deeper into this. Um, and that's pretty acceptable. That's pretty nice trading. Uh, but look what happens when you find the actual number, the actual secret name of markets. Um, and this is what I meant by the secret name of markets, which, of course, is a number. Um, once you can find the absolute optimum pitch at which these markets vibrate, um, the results you get are quite astonishing. I've been trading this market for many, many years, um, and our existing uh, Fraxen program, which has a fixed time cycle, runs in about here. Uh, it's done very well, uh, but to find that, we can actually define these fractals uh, so uh, neatly with this uh, new Trade Navigator program um, has been astonishing for everyone. Um, uh, everyone who's seen it, uh, which is not many, it's just uh, really uh, uh, Tim and Terry and me at the moment, Pete's had a peek at it, uh, but as you can see, it's quite astonishing, uh, and the potential uh, by knowing these absolute, uh, the secret name of these markets, and each market, let me add, is different, uh, by knowing that the potential that we're going to be able to create uh, for your trading is astonishing, um, and because this is so complex, uh, trade Navigator are putting it into a fully auto trade program. Uh, it will run on your computer on Trade Navigator, um, and uh, we'll be covering uh, 15 futures markets uh, to start with. So, lots more about that on the 4th of September, Pete. So, uh, make sure, folks, you put that in your diary. You don't want to miss that. We're going to show you uh, Fraxen Pro in some detail. Um, okay, let's move on now. As I said to you earlier, anything you're interested in here? Um, contact uh, Terry, please, at uh, support at thedanielcode.com. Uh, we'll be happy to give you a free trial to anything that we do. Um, and I've got a lot more to show you, so don't run away yet. Uh, and we are also able to uh, organize a free trial to Trade Navigator uh, charts and software for you in conjunction with uh, Genesis. Um, please use the link uh, at the Daniel Code website if you'd like to have a free trial of uh, Trade Navigator so that... Uh, they know that uh, you came from the Daniel Code. And incidentally, uh, when you're ready to buy your software package from uh, Trade Navigator, you'll find that if you're a uh, Daniel Code member, you will get a very handsome discount uh, on buying the uh, total charting and software package. Uh, as Pete said to you, <coughs> I've uh, been with Trade Navigator uh, for a long time, well before he has, um, and I can tell you that I don't use anything else. Um, it is by far and away the best um, trading software you can buy. Um, it is uh, intuitive. It is uh, very, very clever. Uh, it's one of those things that looks beautiful on the outside, and as you get into it, it's more and more beautiful. 
um, and the folks um, uh, at Trade Navigator uh, are first class. If you have any problems, the guys and gals at the help desk there, uh, wonderful people. Um, here's my compliance statement I'm required to show you folks and uh, I always uh, suggest to you that you do really pay attention uh, to these compliance issues. There is risk in trading. Um, you need to get yourself into uh, a proven and safe trading program and be aware of these risks. Um, don't be unduly scared about them. There are risks in everything in life. Uh, but there are some special risks in uh, trading um, and we're always uh, concerned uh, to show that to you. Okay, so uh, we'll now move um, away from um, the PowerPoint and I'm going to show you uh, some uh, charts uh, which should be of great interest to you. Uh, here we are. Um, we'll get rid of that um, and pretty soon you'll be able to see my uh, Trade Navigator program coming up. Uh, it just takes a moment or two to transmit to you <coughs> and you have it now. There it is. So, um, uh, what we're looking at here is uh, the same chart that you saw uh, before this is the uh, S&P E-mini electronic chart um, and uh, I told you before that we had the uh, blue line for the high, blue line for the low plus or minus um, a couple of points, that's alright um, and this particular chart has the fourth seal lines on it um, and you can see that uh, at this high here uh, we had the fourth seal line, it went right through the close of the day before the high um, and these lines are valid at uh, bar high lows uh, and also at the close they're quite valid. Uh, we had our 59 time cycle which I'd shown you before um, and down it ran into the uh, fourth seal line down here and the Daniel Code blue line uh, which coincided with that 70 cycle which caused the turn and the rally uh, which went up to this 50% line. Now uh, as you follow over here you can see these are the specific Daniel Code tools over here um, and this little fellow here down the hedgehog who's our motto uh, looks like he's in jail, but in fact, uh, this is the timing tool uh, the Trade Navigator created for us. Uh, so if you simply use that and click on um, a bar, uh, we had this uh, three top structure here that was of interest. Uh, you can see that it's created some more time cycles. Um, there's the 44 cycle from this new group gave us the low. Uh, there's the 59 right here gave us that interim high. Uh, there's the 62 support cycle. Uh, pushed us up into the high um, and here's the 70 uh, right here uh, which gave us a one day counter cycle trend. Uh, I'll use that tool again, here he is, here's Dan in the cage, uh, we'll pop him on the next of those three uh, highs um, and you'll see that we now have the 44 cycle gave us that high, uh, led to a five day pullback, here's the next cycle, 59 gave us the next high uh, which led down to the uh, two days down, uh, then we went to the uh, next 62, uh, was a support cycle, uh, came a day late, plus or minus one day is the accuracy of these things, uh, and that's because you can put these cycles, you can start the count on either the bar high low or the closing high low, so um, you can you could see why these things have a variant plus or minus one period. Um, and here's the uh, final 70 over here uh, which hasn't happened yet but uh, I wanted to just give you an idea of how exactly um, these amazing Daniel Code timing tools and the Fort Seal control markets, all of them, uh, all the time. Uh, we have about 11 minutes left so I have to rush along here uh, and show you some more stuff. Uh, we're now moving to the uh, six day timing chart um, this is just a slightly larger version of uh, what I showed you before um, and you can see that uh, from this low here are our timing cycles. Let's bring a few more of them in so you can see them. Um, so there's the high, this is the 2007 high. <coughs> Let's square this up uh, and you can see these cycles have been running along here all the time. These are the 59s times and and half. Uh, look what they're giving us, they gave us the, the 2009 low, little counter trend high, this was an important high at the time um, in uh, April 2011, it's the only high that caused a run down to the two standard deviation, a lot of money in that trade, you need to know about it. Uh, this uh, next cycle gave us this little uh, high up here, caused a six day counter trend 
um, the chart then switched and this one gave us the low uh, which pushed us up uh, into this uh, high here uh, which had 59 time and a half cycles from a different point um, and the 70s and everything else that I've shown you. Uh, that you've seen. Um, the other one I want to show you here very quickly folks is gold because I know a lot of you are, uh, are gold bugs uh, and this stuff is absolutely magic on Pete. As I told you earlier we have called the highs and lows in uh, gold over many years including the high. Uh, my friend uh, uh, under par will remember that. We were at a uh, tutorial at Colorado Springs and he said John's at the high for gold. I said yeah. That's it. <clears throat> and he sold off a lot of his bullion. <clears throat> I was very happy. Uh, this thing that looks like a cat's cradle here, don't uh, uh, obsess over it. It's simply um, a, a chart that um, has on it the fourth seal uh, numbers and you can see this market ran down to a fourth seal conjunction here. Uh, from there it rallied all the way up to this number one uh, which is on the 66 time cycle. That's the time cycle for gold uh, where we got the turn we expected. It then ran down um, to this number here which was another Daniel Code retracement number um, and then started to make its run up uh, into this next uh, three position here. Finding resistance, see how this bar got caught right in these uh, Daniel Code four seal numbers uh, up to this turn at the, at the uh, goals timetable. Forced the turn down, it came to four, look where it stopped, right at the fourth seal line which incidentally runs off this bar way back here um, and then it rallied up as we forecast um, into the next four seal number at point five and this is where we are. Remember this is a six day chart you're looking at folks. Uh, three or four days down got caught uh, in these two Daniel Code four seal lines right here uh, which is what caused the current rally. Um, so that was that. Uh, what else did I want to show you uh, briefly? Uh, we'll go back to another tool. Uh, I can show you the 12-day uh, chart. Uh, this is a chart which each bar is uh, 12 days. Shows you exactly the same thing, just goes on and on repeating. Uh, have a look at this. We've got a nice uh, important 62 cycle coming up uh, here and, uh, and one even sooner on the 6-day chart and the 62 cycles. Uh, our support cycles. We expect support from those cycles. Uh, that was that. We go all the way out uh, to a 24-day chart uh, which is this monster here um, and all I'm trying to show you is that these markets do the same things all the time. Here's this 59 cycle um, hitting here on June the 30th uh, plus or minus one period uh, means we expected the uh, uh, little turn there to happen then or the following period and there it is right at the red line. Um, so that's the uh, sort of stuff I want to show you. Uh, I want to now in the brief time we have take you uh, to the uh, Daniel Code website um, so you can uh, find your way around here. Um, uh, and this is the website uh, which is coming up for you any moment. I won't be very long. Um, we're just waiting for that picture to transmit to you. You've got it now. Um, and uh, from here uh, you'll see uh, under the <coughs> trade program uh, is where we'll have all of those numbers for you to trade for today uh, to be entered and what have you. Uh, we have uh, lots of interesting stuff here. Under this tab articles uh, up here uh, this is where <coughs> there's about uh, 70 or 80 of my uh, published articles in here. Uh, you can just scroll through those um, and the ones you're looking for um, are the two that are called uh, master class. So there's lots of interesting stuff there. Uh, there's pretty much a um, uh, there's pretty much um, um, a master class in trading. Uh, here's master class two timing gold, uh, and further up, further down rather, you'll find master class one. It's about time. Uh, these are the two articles that set out exactly uh, how to run these timing. Uh, schedules. Um, what I want to show you is the fourth seal. These are the markets uh, that we cover. Uh, DAX, S&P, crude oil, natural gas, copper, T-bonds, uh, the DX, the US dollar index and gold. Um, and this is the sort of thing you'll get uh, in these fourth seal uh, pages. Uh, they're updated every week um, and you can just see time and time again. Here's the DAX. 
uh, you can see the four seal lines, you can see the time cycles expiring. Uh, we do all this for you uh, and we give you some commentary uh, about what's about to happen. Now the important part of this is not just the turns, uh, but what happens before the turn. So uh, if you knew as we knew that you had time cycles expiring up here, that meant the trend all the way through here was up until it found its turning cycle. Uh, and that means if you load up your trades a little bit in the direction of the fourth seal trend, you will find that you will at least double uh, your equity. It's a very, very powerful tool uh, for more than just uh, finding where the uh, future turns are going to be. Uh, really briefly, I'll run through these for you. Uh, here's the S&P. Same thing I've shown you. <coughs> fourth seal lines, time cycles. Uh, where Here's your 62 coming on the six-day chart, expecting... Uh, this to provide support um, and then there's a commentary at the bottom um, uh, which is uh, done by one of my uh, students, Frank uh, DB, uh, yeah, under my supervision of course but he's a very smart guy um, and um, you can read this and uh, it'll tell you uh, what's likely to happen. Um, we haven't got time to see them all because we're going to have to have answers to some questions uh, but there you are, the same thing, here's natural gas, there's it's uh, turning cycles, gold, I know you're all fascinated with gold, uh, here's the fourth seal for gold, um, have a look at this, here's your uh, present uh, pressure downward on gold, 44 to support it, um, and uh, this is why we're getting a mixed picture here, we've got uh, uh, supporting and uh, uh, resistance time cycles, one on top of the other, uh, which means this market's going to go sideways for a bit. Um, okay, uh, that should be... Uh, a whole lot of material that I've flooded you with. I hope you've enjoyed it um, and I don't want to keep you very much longer folks because um, I know all of you have uh, commitment. I really appreciate you all being here. Now let me run through these uh, questions. I've um, got some problems with sound uh, and audio uh, but it was recorded. Uh, other people not having any problems so there might be a local problem Chuck. Uh, chip rather so moving on here. Uh, can these cycles, this is uh, uh, Amit, he's left, can these cycles be out of sync ever? Uh, no, they're never out of sync. Um, once they're established, they go on and on forever, but they can miss. Um, they don't go out of sync, but they can uh, stop being powerful, which means that it switched to uh, a different cycle for that period of time. Um, the interesting thing is that some of these cycles uh, on these charts have been running since 1932, and uh, they just uh, keep reasserting themselves periodically. It's quite extraordinary. Um, what else have we got? Uh, would a turn mean change in direction or continuation? Uh, turn means these are intermediate turns, uh, Amit, <coughs> and um, uh, uh, because they're being done off six-day charts and 12-day charts, they tend to be uh, pretty powerful. Um, how the Daniel cycles uh, picked, for example, uh, this is from Daniel, uh, in the, uh, read the articles, Daniel, they're straight from the, a uh, good name, Daniel, they're straight from the book of Daniel, these are the Daniel code time uh, and price ratios. A um, couple of people have lost sound here, Pete. Um, let's move on with Liz, uh, Les rather. Um, yeah, you, you, lost sound for, you lost sound for like 30 seconds and then you came back. So. Oh, okay. Uh, here's Les uh, on the 7.5% a month. What size account can you start with? What do you recommend? Uh, start small, Les. Uh, pick markets that have uh, smaller margins. Uh, margin is what uh, determines the size of accounts you need. Um, and um, do please start with a uh, SIM account, simulated account, uh, and uh, learn learn to get these uh, trade these things the way we suggest uh, before you risk real money. Um, and as applying the DC numbers, do you start on the day high or close uh, on the 6 or 12 day bar chart? Is the high the close price? Bar? Uh, the numbers are created from the um, bar high lows in whatever matrix they're created from, Anders, uh, but recognition of those targets uh, can happen at the bar high low uh, or at the close. Have a look at some of these uh, uh, videos over here. You'll see this heading uh, videos on the website. Um, there's a lot of material on this stuff. We go over it um, every couple of weeks. Mark, similar to Bollinger Bands, nothing to do with Bollinger Bands uh, at all. Um, quite entirely different. 
why does it work? Well, um, I guess you probably need to read the material, Albert. Um, uh, it, 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 pretty strong reason why it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, do we use cycles with Frank Zen? Uh, this guy's actually left here. Um, uh, yes, we do, but there again, they're they're fractals. Um, Anthony Gates said it does not have live data for Australian shares. We don't trade shares, but you know about that, Pete. Do you provide live data for Australian shares? No, Pete's not there for the moment. He'll come back. Hey, John, you did, you did. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Oh, um, no, we did for we did for like a year, and we had four people pay the exchange fee and go for it. And it cost us, like, for some reason, Australian Stock Exchange and the, the Aussie Futures Exchange is the same exchange, but um, it's like the most expensive exchange fees in the entire world. They were very proud of their data, and, you know, with four or five people signing up for it, even though we've got tons of Australian clients, we just we were just losing money all over the place. So there's only a few people interested in it. So yeah, okay, Anthony, they... Yeah, thank you, Anthony. There's your answer. Um, Australia is uh, officially now the second most expensive place in the world. Uh, it's quite crazy. The you know, property prices here are uh, New York level. Uh, at least New York, you get a city here they're about that high out in the sticks. Um, just absolutely crazy, the price of everything here. Uh, Pete, you know, I left Australia uh, 10 or 12 years ago and I went to New Zealand and I left the country in great shape. Uh, by the time I've come back, they've screwed it. Uh, it's a real nanny state. It's mad with bloody bureaucracy and rules and regulations and everything else. Uh, David Nudson, can we see the free DC contacts again? Uh, just go to the website, uh, David, and uh, click the Contact Us uh, button. Uh, here's Terry, uh, who's at uh, support. He uh, runs things for me pretty much. Uh, here's our broker, if you're interested in talking to a broker uh, who understands the Daniel Code, uh, Jerry Winter. Uh, at FP Trading and Dan Neenan at Stryker. Uh, the people at uh, Trade Navigator, you need to talk to a Melissa Stevenson. Uh, Judy Styles is no longer with uh, Trade Navigator. We'll have to take her off that list, Pete. Uh, and, of course, you can write to me uh, with any of your questions or interests. Jay Needham at thedanielcode.com. I'd be delighted uh, to hear from you. Um, so let's move on here. Uh, Rodney, do these work on intraday charts for day trading? Yes, they do. Uh, when we show you Frack Zen uh, on the 4th of September, Rodney will show you how uh, it slavishly follows the uh, Daniel Code uh, ratios. Uh, Tim, uh, how much longer will this downtrend in S&P continue or has it just bottomed? Uh, we, don't, <coughs> we don't actually know quantum, uh, Tim. Uh, what we know is we got um, a nice run down from where we expected it. Uh, we got the bottom turn and the little rally up exactly where we expected it. Uh, I suspect we'll get a pretty good idea this week. Um, there's a strong pattern to uh, the S&P Monday. It usually continues the way it's been going. Tuesday is a buy day uh, because of a lot of the repo action and what have you. Uh, Friday is nearly always an up day as they put a gloss on the end of the week. Uh, and if the market's going to sell off, the, the odds are it will sell off on Thursdays. Um, so we have um, our 62 cycle promising support uh, coming up, but uh, we may well get another leg down uh, before we get there. Um, yes, if so, what is the name of a service? I'm not quite sure what Brian wanted. They're right to me, mate. If I haven't replied to your questions, please feel free to drop me an email. Uh, okay, we're moving on here. Uh, Number of uh, DC true inside bars near market turns, especially the tops. Uh, do you find that to be true? Ray, it often is because um, uh, inside bars, which are the great, they're the jokers, they're the fakers uh, of charts, but uh, um, they can just be nulls or voids. They're waiting for time, essentially. They're waiting for the time cycle to expire. Uh, but <coughs> if the market's got where it's got to a little bit too quickly, it'll often put in one or two or sometimes even three uh, inside bars um, as it waits for time to expire. Um, Anthony Gates, there are a lot of traders that just have to use other platforms. Understand that, Anthony. Uh, you can use uh, 
any platform you like. Um, I've tried most of them. Uh, some of them are very good. Um, my, my belief is that Trade Navigator is the best, but you can execute all of the Daniel Code signals on any platform you like. Um, and um, uh, it's, uh, you don't, you're not being uh, forced into anything here. Uh, we have solutions for Europeans. Per, yes, we do. We trade the DAX. It's a very, very profitable market for us. We could trade more if people were interested. Um, John, this is from uh, Michael. Uh, use stochastic supporting signal for actual trades. Would using an RSA make RSI make much of a difference? Uh, no, um, Michael, it doesn't. Uh, there are some settings that uh, you probably saw one of the Trade Navigator partners use that, that uh, slot in beautifully with the RSI. But to an extent, that's data fitting. Uh, when we uh, Daniel Cad, uh, everything is very dynamic. The market um, uh, tells us what it's doing. We don't tell it what it's doing. Um, and uh, I have personally have found the RSI of no use at all. Um, well, here's uh, Stewie, he's an Australian. Uh, he's Australia is the most expensive place in the world. Um, yet socialists do not trust and they ruin the country. Well, that's the problem and um, uh, here our political parties are so close to each other, they're really not much difference. They're all socialists, they're all interested in regulation and getting involved in your life and uh, that's been a big change. Uh, I used to think that, uh, I mean, I'm, I am Australian, I used to say this is the freest and best country in the world and uh, not entirely sure I could say that now. Um, uh, Nicholas, any connection between the DC and GAN square of nine? Look, no, uh, I am uh, used to be a GAN aficionado. I spent uh, eight or nine or ten years doing a GAN stuff. I spent a small fortune buying his original charts, his letters. I had people all over the world. Um, and then one day I got hold of a guy called Ian Jensen. Um, he uh, was very elderly then. This is probably 14, 15 years ago. Um, and he was um, Gann's front man. He used to go out to these country uh, places where Gann was uh, speaking and he'd uh, set up the tents and uh, get hold of the uh, uh, local media guys and uh, get everything ready and then when Gann retired Ian Jensen actually took over the Gann calendar uh, which if you're a Gann man you'll know about and long story short I eventually got the stage I said to this uh, elderly gentleman um, I'd be happy to pay you $10,000 for an hour's conversation about Gann um, and he said well that'll be alright um, so I rang him up and talked to him and um, um, what he told me is that uh, Basically, they handed over. I asked him about the Union Steel, the 253 correct calls in Union Steel. Uh, the Gans Alicia have made. I said, "How did you do that? Any clues?" He said, "Yeah, buy the buy the reporter a new Buick, uh, and they'll say whatever you want." Anyway, um, uh, one should not speak ill of the dead, but uh, the polite way of saying it is this: Gan was a great marketer, perhaps the best of them all, uh, and he was the first broker that actually taught brokers that marketing to your clients pays results in earning your big money. Uh, but most of all these GAN squares and the uh, one by one, one by three, the lines, and the, uh, that's rubbish. Um, a lot of it uh, actually didn't come from GAN, it came from his mentor, uh, a gentleman called Seferiel, whose real name was uh, Walter Gorn Old. He was a, a very interesting character in uh, London uh, and a leader of the... Um, uh, the Lodge, uh, Blackfriars uh, Lodge there, you can read all about them, Seferial, S-E-P-H-A-R-I-A-L, but um, GAN is uh, 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 really uh, should be remembered as being uh, a great marketer and uh, the person who taught brokers that marketing's worthwhile. Um, I think that's about all of it. Um, uh, let me see if there's anything I've missed here. Guys, if I haven't answered any of your questions, uh, please write me an email. Um, and I'll be happy to talk to you more about that. Um, oh, one question here. When I say fractal, is that in the same sense as Mandel Uh Well, yeah, he understands fractals, but he doesn't understand markets. So don't. Uh, I've read all of that stuff. Uh, one of our members, uh, uh, Honest John's a great uh, Mandelbro uh, uh, fan and, 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 and gave me the book and talked to me about it all the time. Um, uh, very, very clever man, uh, <coughs> Mandelbro. Uh, same sort of thing, fractals, but uh, don't waste a lot of time on it. It, it, it doesn't have the application into markets uh, that he thought it did. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting reading. It's all good knowledge. Um, so, uh, Pete, thanks very much. That's uh, about all I've got, and we're uh, 12 minutes over time. 
so this might be um, an appropriate time uh, to end now. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. But uh, thank you for having me today, uh, Pete, and thank you to uh, ladies and gentlemen who are our guests today. So I'll hand it back over to you, mate. Yeah, awesome, John. I appreciate you taking the time to, to do the webinar. And everybody else, I appreciate you taking the time to come check it out. Um, just keep in mind that I know we went really fast today, and there's a lot of stuff to talk about, and, and we probably have more questions. So um, feel free to read some of the free articles that John has written, and it actually helped me a lot because I first started uh, looking into what John was talking about. Uh, I had to read a couple of the articles a couple of times each just to kind of figure out what he was talking about. So feel free to go read those, and then you're also welcome to send an email in to John or myself, as we said. And uh, and uh, also the recording is uh, going to be posted on our calendar, on our website, and uh, and probably on the DanielCode.com as well, so people can watch the recording of the of the webinar if uh, they wanted to watch it again. So awesome, guys! Thanks a lot, John, and thanks a lot, guys. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, Pete. Bye, bye, folks. Cheers.